Okay, so let's have this problem. A simply supported beam having a span of 8 meters carries a concentrated load of 40 kilonewton. Um, concentrated load 6 meter from the left support. So use EI equal to 8,000 kilonewton meter squared. And let us use conjugate beam method. Okay, so for number one, we have to determine the deflection at the application of the load. So, pila deflection sa obo sa 40 kN. Okay, so, first thing is to compute the reactions. Para makuha na tong shear and moment, then the moment will become the load on the fictitious beam. Okay, so, summation moment, let say this is point A and this is point B. This is point C. Moment at B equal to zero. So, so RA times 8 is equal to 40 times 2 and RA is 10 summation forces vertical equal to 0 40 minus 10 so RB is 30 so this is 30 and this is 10 Okay, so let's tender it sa ka relying load negative thirty. <coughs> then sa ka tadere. So this is the shear diagram, and for the moment diagram, that is ten times six. So 10 times 6 area of this one so we have 60 kilonewton meter maximum moment so nakuha na nato ang moment diagram m over e i diagram sa real beam then tungtong na to siya sa fictitious beam Okay, tong tong to siya sa fictitious beam. Pag convert na to sa real beam, a simple support will remain a simple support sa fictitious beam. So wala changes sa beam, no? Wala changes. Kuha na po nimo ang mga reaction dere. So summation moment at B equal to 0. RA times 8 is equal to so duha na ka area this um, one half 6 o 60 times padulong dari ang centroidal distance that is 2 plus one third of 6 2 plus one third of 6 plus this one that is one half sixty by two. Then two thirds dere padolong dere a. That is two thirds of two meters. So compute R A. So we have a 100 kilonewton, a 100 kilonewton, okay, a 60 is kilonewton meter, kani meter, kani meter, so kilonewton meter cube. So na kay 100 dere, then. What's next? So, on sa to, we have to compute for the deflection at the application of the load. So, according to um, conjugate beam method, the 
deflection at the real beam is equal to the moment so to the deflection at C of the real beam is equal to the moment I mean the moment at C of the fictitious so Para makuha na itong deflection dari, kailangan na itong makuha ang moment dari. Ah. So, what is the moment at C? Okay. So, moment at C is equal to 100 times 6 which is ang reaction dari minus Eriane times centroidal distance so one half sixty by six then six divided by three so moment at C pila using your calculator So we have a 240 kN meter cube. Okay, so kN meter cube over EI bilang ei um, 80000 so kan ni para ma mm na to kilo newton is times 1000 para ma newton and no no not necessarily <coughs> kilo newton since kilo newton pa na tong ei na 80000 Kansel ni Newton ang m squared ang m squared may tong i 1000 squared para ma millimeter then kani m cube okay so let's compute two forty times thousand cube eighty times ten to the three so we have a 3 millimeters. Can I convert it to millimeter? So moment at C is actual of the fictitious. No? That is the deflection at C of the real. Okay. So number two, what is the location of the maximum deflection? Okay, so to, to locate the maximum deflection, di ba? Mahanap na siya. To locate the location of the maximum deflection, yun mo siyang i-project sa load ni mo sa fictitious beam, which is the moment diagram. Pag-project ni mo, kung as, ang, di ba? It is, ko unexpected nga, <coughs> Kung, kung asa a zero ang shear dere kung imo magbuhat na po another shear and moment ani kung kung asa ang zero shear ma, dito mag occur ang maximum deflection ano man zero shear is ano na siya zero shear is kung asa po ang slope is Zero. Okay. So zero shear. Let us say this point D for the maximum deflection. So um, deflection at D or gamma max. 
is kung asa zero ang shear so buta to zero zero ang shear dere yun to this is y and this is x so summation summation of shear dere summation of shear must be equal to zero so one hundred Minus the area of this one. Pag sum up ang shear dere. Reaction. Minus the area of this one. So, one half. Y times X. Then, by ratio proportion, if you have Y and X here. Out of. Six meter by sixty. And this one, the larger triangle. So, if you have 60 out of 6, so you have y out of x. So, we could have x in terms of y. 60x, 6y, x is equal to... I mean, baliktad. y is equal to 60 over 6x or 10x. So, 0 is equal to 100 minus 1 half 10x times x. So, makuha na to si x. So, if you transpose this one, so 100 is equal to, ay na lang, ano lang, 1 half times 10, 5. So, 100 divided by 5. 20, square root of 20. So that is 4.47 meter. So at zero nga shear, distance niya from the left support is 4.47. Karon, natay diri nga diri. Wala nakabot sa point of application of the load ang maximum deflection. And if we compute for the um, what do you call this one? The maximum, the value of the maximum moment. Imo lagi ako nsa ng i magsum up kag moment dere, no? Because the deflection of the real beam is the moment of the fictitious beam. So that is one hundred times x. Okay. Minus area times centroidal distance of this up to the x lang. So, that is 1 half x times y which is 10x. Times 1 third of x in which x is 4.47. So, pilaman. 100 times 4.47 minus 1 half of your 4.47 times 10 times 4.47 times 4.47 divided by 3. So that is 298.14 kilonewton meter cube over EI. So, kung kuwaan yun ninyo ang kanang value yun in millimeters, so pareha rin yun kayo na 298.14 Diyan na ito na convert kay pareha na sila na ika-kilonewton. This is 80,000 kilonewton. Ah, pwede rin na makancel. Binilang kag-isa. So, so, 298.14 0.14 divided by 80,000 that is 0.00373 so kung i-mo siya i-convert into millimeter times 1 meter is 1,000 mm so 3.73 millimeters ang Max deflection. 
Okay, so 3.73. Samantalang ang sa point of application of the load, pila to gay na? 3mm lang. So, sakto ta. Mas, mas dako ginang deflection at point D.